What makes a better paddler? You'll get a million answers. So the purpose of studies is to be able to get measures of what makes a good paddler and compare it to measures of what makes an average paddler. Essentially, what makes a good paddler is how fast they move a dragon boat. The speed of the dragon boat is equal to the force of propulsion minus the resistance of the friction of the water against the dragon boat. Essentially, how your paddle exerts force on the water governs the speed of your dragon boat. We can measure this force and display it in what's called a force time graph, which is also known as the force curve. Gamori did a study in 2011 where they measured many paddling strokes in a simulated race, producing this force time graph. How this can be useful to you is if you compare how the force changes over time and compare the position or the angle of the blade relative to how that force changes over time. I've drawn a line to separate the positive and negative sides of the force curve, which are supposed to represent where the blade goes from positive to negative. What you'll notice is that the force drops off a little bit on the negative side, but it's not substantial enough to consider abandoning taking the blade into the negative zone. I'd like to discuss the blade mechanic in the negative zone in more detail, but I understand it's a touchy subject amongst a lot of loyalists, so I won't go any further. Suffice to say, there is something glaringly obvious about the data that Gamori produces that should be of concern to any budding coach or athlete that wants to excel.